Hi, good morning or good evening, depends on where you're from. And uh, hello to everybody. Welcome to the uh, Penn State workshop on mathematical machine learning and application. My name is uh, Jin Zhao Shu from Penn State. I'm uh, one of the organizers of this workshop. And um, as you know that, um, we all know machine learning, especially the deep learning, has a lot of uh, successful applications in artificial intelligence and many other areas such as computer vision, automated driving, like your language process, and also applications in scientific science and engineering. And uh, uh, one of the main goal of this workshop uh, is to discuss uh, how uh, mathematics can be applied to uh, understand how machine learning works, uh, especially deep learning. And uh, it has been commonly said in the literature something like this, okay, deep learning is like alchemy. And uh, we're, hopefully through this workshop, we're gonna challenge this statement. And uh, in fact, uh, it will, I hope you will through this many great talks will, in this workshop, actually we'll see that there have been many encouraging developments in mathematical understanding of deep learning. And uh, there are many uh, areas of mathematics are applicable. And uh, I, I would hesitate to make a more kind of general comments of what kind of mathematics uh, have been applied, but I want to choose an area which I'm uh, um, most familiar with, uh, my own research area to make some specific comments, like a numerical partial differential equation, like a finite element method, and the multi-grid method. Let's see how we, this will relate to, like say, deep learning. And uh, one of the, uh, we all know the most commonly used tools in uh, deep learning is a uh, deep neural network using ReLU as an uh, activation function. So this is, uh, for a mathematical point of view, just a functional class, a set of functions. It turns out we can actually prove that it is identically the same as the linear finite element we use to solve partial different equation as a set of functions. And uh, among the uh, deep neural network used in machine learning is the, the you know, this convolutional neural network. Uh, using uh, redo as uh, activation function. So what can we say this relationship from what we know? Multi-grid method. I say it, it turns out that we can make a very slight modification. We get something we call an MG net. And we have shown that it demonstrates very competitive performance and actually sometimes in most cases better than existing one, but it has a lot of mathematical structure. And uh, there's lots of talk uh, in, in this meeting about approximation. And uh, uh, suppose you take a ReLU uh, shadow neural network with n parameters. So that is a piecewise linear function. You compare this with piecewise linear finite element. It turns out the arrow is d times the power better than the finite element or wavelets. Uh, um, if you do a d dimension, we can say finite element has a cursive dimensionality. And we can prove that the, 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 uh, the error two error, for example, is n parameter n to the negative two in any dimension. This is for sufficient smooth functions. And uh, you can see it's much better than sparse grid, for example. But um, this is something we just proved uh, in the last few weeks. And uh, this, of course, is just rather my personal kind of narrow perspective. But uh, I'm happy to see say that uh, the, we have a rather broad range of topics covered in this workshop. And these are just some examples. And um, so uh, I just want to make some comment on the format of uh, this uh, workshop. And uh, we have a uh, happy to have 25 uh, invited talks and uh, each uh, 20, each talk will have 45 minutes uh, presentation, followed by about 10 minutes or 15 minutes for, for, for questions. 
and there may be transition to another talk. I, you know, this is a virtual world online. We deliberately have, uh, have more time, hopefully, to have a, interaction, uh, discussions, and uh, offer the talk. We we'll also feature a post presentation, and it's going to be Wednesday evening. And uh, we we'll probably have like around 30 uh, contributions. And uh, we will we'll first begin with a, a you know, in this room and have a brief introduction for each presenter. And uh, then after that, we'll break out to individuals' rooms uh, for, for discussions. Uh, I want to take this, uh, this uh, opportunity to, uh, to thank uh, my, you know, co-organizers and uh, the local organizer, especially John Harlem, and uh, who uh, can see on the screen did a lot of hard work for organizing uh, this meeting. And uh, we also have uh, the next uh, session, few sessions uh, in the next three days will be chaired by my other uh, Penn State uh, colleagues who have who also interested in uh, data science related work. I uh, appreciate that. And uh, our workshop has been uh, sponsored by, initiated by Penn State Institute for Computational and Data Science. We originally planned the meeting for the in-person meeting, so we actually uh, got a NSF, NSF support for that. But uh, since it's online, the cost is minimal, so we're not gonna use it. But I still be very grateful for the support and encouragement from NSF. And they were also, um, um, I have a technical supporter from the Penn State IT group. And uh, this is uh, all I want to say about, uh, you know, very briefly about this uh, opening uh, to, to, to start this uh, workshop. I just want to thank uh, everybody from wherever you are and for your participation, especially for the uh, invited speakers and also the contributor for the post session for your support and the contributions. I very much looking forward to a very productive workshop ahead of us. Okay, maybe now is the time uh, we'll get ready for the first session of the, the workshop. <laughs>